Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So one of the top questions I get on a daily basis is, how do I get more spin? I need more spin. Well, who else to answer it but Tennis Spin. Stay tuned. coffee sponsor of today is looks like Dato Aslin. Dato writes, just started playing tennis and loving your content for beginners like myself. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Dato. And thanks for starting the game. As you know, tennis needs more players and I'm glad you're one of them. All right. Thanks for hooking it up. I appreciate the coffee. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Cheers to you and thank you for the Sumatra. Love the Sumatra. Nice and strong and bold. Okay, so I just realized that after being on for about two and a half years that I really haven't done anything on spin, right? I call the channel Tennis Spin, but I haven't done anything that, you know, helps spin, causes spin, helps you with more top spin. It, I get like a myriad of people coming in, mostly beginner intermediates that want spin. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, is there a racket that gives me spin? Is there a string that gives me spin? Is there anything that will help with my spin? Well, I'm going to talk about products that will enhance your spin. But let's talk about a, a couple things before we get into spin. As you know, this racket is called the spin machine. If you're going to get a spin racket, you're going to probably get an arrow, okay? This is like carnival arrow, okay? Not banana, but any arrow will enhance your spin. Let's quickly start with um, grip, okay? How you grip your racket. If you shake hands with the grip, I'm going to turn it over this way, like, and you do it back in the day with a four and a half grip like this. It's probably a little harder for you to spin the ball because it's the turn step hit style. And in order for you to get spin from this grip, you literally will have to go low to high and you probably won't impart as much spin as if you held it more kind of closed like this. Okay, so I'm at like an Eastern and I'm at a Western here and then like I'm at a full Western there. So the more you hold it like this, the more the trajectory comes up and comes across the ball like that. If you hold it flat like that, it's a lot harder for you to impart spin. But look, look at my trajectory. It's not going to be as easy. It's going to want to come through and up. So you're kind of coming through through and into the ball and imparting a little spin on it, right? It's hard versus this. So a lot of it has to do with your swing, okay? So it's going to be really hard if you hold a continental grip um, to impart more spin. So let's talk about rackets first, okay? Rackets can help you by being head lighter. Balance more at the handle. How does that give you spin though? Because it gives you a faster head. So the head comes through quicker so that you can kind of slice through the air and then come over, right? Come over and impart the spin on the ball. Does that make sense? Well, there's a reason why we went from 
head heavy hammers back in the day, like 25, 30 years ago, to everything being on the HL side, head light side, so that you can come through the ball faster, therefore imparting spin on the ball. But why do we need spin? Why do we need spin? Spin makes the ball tumble like this, right? What does tumbling do? It brings the ball down. So it's easier to keep the ball in the court with spin. Once it bounces, it kicks high, right? So your margin of error is greater by imparting more spin on the ball. Okay, so the racket can help you and it has like because everything is pretty head light nowadays. Okay, that's why like in a player stick like this, we got seven points head light. In the clash, which I think is a great spin machine too, seven, you know, 10 points head light. That's a very, very fast head. Okay. So here's the thing that I've noticed with my own. As you guys know, I've switched to the, the, the blackout extended from Selenko, and I've been playing with it in its stock form for maybe, oh man, it's been four to six weeks already. I've started customizing it about two, three weeks in, because I seem to be missing something. The one thing that I did gain, because you guys know I play with a lot of lead and a two by four essentially, is that I got a lot of spin from it being in its stock form because it's so light, it's so maneuverable, it's so easy to turn up on the racket that I'm like, I, it's harder for me to hit through the ball. Therefore, when I started adding lead, especially to the head, I was able to actually flatten it out a little bit more and then spin it. I mean, my, the trajectory of my ball went from like this, right, to kind of, the more lead I added, the more lower it got, right? Which means what? Which means I was probably imparting less spin on the ball. So if you want more spin, you probably want a head lighter racket so that you can maneuver it faster up. Okay? So rackets can help, okay? Those S rackets that Wilson made, that's probably not around anymore, <laughs> will help too. The less strings that are on the racket, the more chance that those strings will move and snap and impart more spin on the ball, okay? So the string pattern can help too, all right? So strings itself can also help. Now, if you want, let's say, spin with a little bit of comfort, Synthetics are good, but they're not gonna be the spin machines that we all want. I mean, obviously the multis like this X natural, I mean, says spin and comfort. Yes, definitely both, um, but to a certain extent, okay? So what they're trying to do is give you feel and give you spin at the same time, which is a tough combination. Um, and probably protecting your arm too, okay? I mean, something like a synthetic, this is like a basic synthetic that they make. Um, it'll be all right, but, you know, multis for spin will only get you so far, okay? I mean, these are great if you want to impart some spin on the ball and want to flatten it out with a lot of comfort, right? And if you're worried about your arm, Right, synthetics are great, multis are great. Now, polys are the best for spin, okay? 
So we have, you know, Hybrid G, which is their softest poly, Selenko, and all the kids love this. And then we got my favorite and the one I use, Confidential. And we got the gauges in Confidential. And then we got Torbite. Now, which one, which one of these will give me the most spin and why? Okay. Let's take a look at Hyper-G Hyper -G first. So this is considered to be their softest poly, coolest color, but it's soft. What does soft mean when it comes to spin? Well, anything that gives you comfort will probably not give you as much spin as you can get, okay? We have to move into the stiffer stuff like this to impart more spin. Now, why is that? Why is that? Well, think about it this way. If a string is soft, right, when the ball hits the string, it's going to give first before it snaps. So if it's giving and, and, and before it snaps, it's going to absorb it first before it snaps and moves the ball back. But if it's hard, if it's hard, and you can impart enough spin, enough, you know, turn to make it move and snap and snap, that firmer string will actually react harder because it won't absorb it in the string bed as much. And I'm talking microseconds. If you can move the hard stuff, the hard stuff will snap and make that ball spin harder. Okay, think about it that way. It's all essentially science and physics. Okay, so the harder the string you can use, the more spin you will impart. Now, tension has something to do with this too. We don't want this string super tight unless you can swing that hard to make that tension move. So it's all about movement of the string. So if you can actually, I mean, I guess ideally in a perfect world, you string this at the lowest you can handle. I mean, 32, 35, 40, okay, somewhere low. And you swing with a lot of force upwards and you make this snap every time on a fresh string job, every time you will see the difference of how much spin you can impart on the ball. Okay, now gauge too, guys. Gauge um, the thinner you can use 18 gauge, 18 gauge is probably going to impart a little more spin than 17 or 16 light or definitely 16. So if you can do 18 gauge at, I mean, 35 40 pounds on an open string pattern that's headlight on the racket, you probably have the best combination of all for spin. Okay? So try all that. If, if spin is what you need, I just gave you a roadmap. All right? So go get some spin. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, ready? Out. The ball was in. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. The ball hit the paint. Paint flew up. Did you not see that? Are you blind? You need an eye doctor. You cannot be serious. Oh, wait. I have swing vision. The ball is in.